Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. By the time I'm recording this, you guys would have seen the first four episodes of the series. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the series. It's an awesome game, and I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. So I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like on this video and also comment down below. It really helps out the channel. So massive thank you to everyone in advance who have done that throughout the entire series. It really does mean a lot, so thank you guys. So our DLC is actually activated. This is the pre-order bonus, if I'm not mistaken. It's basically like a treasure map, which you get given in your trunk, which obviously we're not back home at Rote yet, which we're going to need to do to get this. But I think if you do do this quest, you go ahead and run around, try and find some treasure, and then you get your hands on some pretty awesome armor. So we're definitely going to have to do this at some point. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do this like quite soon, because probably by the time you're watching this video, I would be back from holiday, so I will start recording recording these like the day after I upload the previous one meaning that I can read your comments and take a lot more of your advice on board so it's going to be much much better to uh, to do that you know and kind of actually read the comments and be able to react a lot quicker because last time um, you know obviously the past couple episodes I've been busy and haven't been really had a chance to do that so 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 last episode we went ahead and we were on the trail of the bandits we found someone hiding in the woods which we managed to convince to tell us everything he did pretty convincingly tell us everything he didn't really hesitate uh, we then fought some bandits two bandits chased him off but he did give me information about a guy called Timmy who was at this mill and he actually went to the camp of the bandits so if I can find Timmy I can find where the bandits are I can tell Lord Radzig and uh, Lord Hanish and we can go and kill them um, and I've seen some gameplay from that period in the battle and it's awesome it's like literally massive group combat it's sick so hopefully we'll be able to find that but we are on the lookout what for his sister now I believe that's where we ended it yeah I did to see a woman go in this house so I'm hoping we can go and find her Without them being annoyed at me because I'm in a private area. Yeah, hopefully oh, there she's right here. Yeah, here she is. Oh, I just ate instead. Please don't overfeed me, thank God. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want to get overfed. I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works That's here. his sister. You know that's his sister. I don't know anyone like that. Well, I do. Oh, what's the star mean? But the others know him. Oh, okay. Um, someone wants to, wants to kill him. Yeah, I think because it's his sister... <laughs> you can be so rude in this game. I think it's because it's, it's his sister. I want to try and you know say that he's in trouble, and I want to protect him. Listen, someone wants to kill him. I have to warn him. But, but I don't know what you're talking about. We failed, damn. That's unfortunate. Oh, her speech is nine. That sucks. Um, he'll better be all round. I mean, we could threaten him. That's not how we're playing, Henry. Let's just stay all this one. him. So how come you don't? All right, but not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. Oh, wow. Her voice completely changed. Wow. <laughs> Did not expect that. She, uh, yeah, she completely went from being like a, a common idiot to a normal person. My lord. I do like how they do that, though. They make it so that if you do run into an NPC on stairs, you like after a second of clipping into him, you do just suddenly, um, you do just suddenly clip through him. It's a nice little way of, of making it not really kill your immersion too much. Um, if you are interested as well, we are all the way down here as well, just below Townburg. Um, we did actually have a quest as well, which I do want to take a look at for Lady Stephanie, which we wanted to go ahead and do. So Rate, Sasau, and Uzertz we need to go to. I believe um, we're not close to any of them, right? Yeah, so Sasau is right there. Uzitz is right there, and then Rate is back. So we're not really next to any of them. If we are in any of these, I do need to make sure that I remember to pick them up. I'm also just going to undo that quest as well. Oh, yeah, we also got ourselves a shield as well, right, which is pretty cool. Um, is she behind the mill? Oh, yeah, she's just coming now. Um, yeah, we also got ourselves a shield as well to mess around with. I'm not sure if I like it too much. Um, I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should we be using a shield? Uh, it makes our swings a lot less slower. We're not obviously as good, but it gives us a lot more protection and lets us play a lot more defensive, so... I think it's easier to use a shield, but I don't know if it's something I want to do throughout the entire right, campaign. Um... So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? Because he's his sister, obviously. He's my brother. We know that. <laughs> he's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. 
and they said some strange things, but I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. Oh, here we go. What's up, boys? There's four of them. Oh, this is not good. Is someone going to come save me? I've got the feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. Maybe. <laughs> Let's just be cold like fuck I these guys. So. No? Why not? <laughs> I mind my own business. I don't like your face. We could be aggressive, but I, he looks like he's probably pretty handy with a weapon I don't or stick two. My nose into other people's affairs, and I expect the same from them. That's a shame. A crying shame. I take good care of people who help me. Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. Oh, here we go. So we could actually get to the camp this way, but sell out Timmy. Oh, wow. Wow, I don't know what to do with so many questions. So we could actually get to the camp. I mean, I doubt he's going to tell me, right? You have an encampment somewhere? Well, sure we do. And no shortage of coin if you're ready to earn it. Where is it? Well, he's not going to tell me that, is he? Uh, all in good time. First proof we can trust you. Help us find Timmy. Well, I know Tim... I, like, as we're playing Henry Honourable, I know Timmy... Um, I know where Timmy is, and I know that Timmy knows where their camp is. I mean, he's a bit stupid, but I'm sure he'll be able to show me. I hear he's hiding in Ratai. Oh, yeah? Where in Ratai? I, I don't know. You'll have to find him yourself. Sounds like a pile of horseshit to me. Stop wasting my time and spit it out. Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to sell him out, honestly. But it would be so much easier if we just did. I have no idea where he is. I reckon I'd love to try my luck elsewhere. Don't try to tell me she told you nothing. You send me to Ratte, and then you say you know nothing. Spit it out right now. I'm going to attack or just say he's at the farm. I'm not going to be able to take on four guys, am I? Like, there's no way. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to do it. Farm. Right back where he started. Are you yanking my pizzle? Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. For your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Oh no, I feel so bad. Timmy's going to get absolutely slaughtered. Maybe we should go and help him. I don't know. Wait until they find Timmy, then go and get your reward. I mean, I feel really bad now. I feel like we shouldn't have done that. But there's four guys, you know. How are we supposed to disarm four guys? Well, you know, that's the brutal thing of this campaign. You know, we have to make sacrifices and... I'm not gonna not not like not do stuff, you know. If I if I make a decision and I feel bad afterwards, that's all part of the game, right? I'm not gonna reload or do anything different. We're just gonna roll with it, and you know whatever happens happens. If I make a decision and it's rash and I feel bad because of it, I don't know. But like I feel like obviously we're playing Henry Honorable, but we're also we want to live, you know. We don't want to die. And there's four guys there, heavily armored. I'm not exactly, I'm an okay sword fighter, but I'm no one too crazy. Um, so what, are we just still waiting here? Is he just going to follow me around? Oh yeah, we have to go wait until they find, then go get your reward. Okay, I guess we'll go over there and uh, get our reward. I mean, this guy's not going to be able to catch me on a horse. Is he? Yeah, he's going to try and chase us, but... I mean, at least we're going to find the bandits, and I mean, Timmy... He wasn't exactly a bad guy, but he is a fug. But I mean, as his, oh, I feel bad. I promised his sister that I wouldn't do this. It's crazy as well how a game makes me feel bad. 
for doing something. I mean, we'll go over here. I mean, maybe we can help them. Maybe they haven't got to the farm in time. Yeah, maybe they're going to the farm now, and if we can catch them, maybe we can stop this stuff from happening. I mean, I doubt it, but... I think we're going to be in now, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. We get a nice little stat boost in the city. So a new city as well we found. So I think we want to cross uh, cut across country here. If we can. No, there's going to be too much trouble. Let's just go through the town itself. Shouldn't take us too long. I hope you guys as well enjoyed the previous episode. I think it was um, the one... No, it was two episodes ago with the priest. That episode was hilarious. We got up to some pretty crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah, I believe we are going to the mill, maybe. Unless this is a tavern up here. So maybe we can still intervene, even though telling him. I mean, we kind of had to say that to save our skin, but maybe we could have then come to the tavern a second later. Yeah. I mean, maybe we could have come to the mill to protect him, and instead we just stuck around. I mean, it does look like a, a tavern, actually, yeah. Because they were not nice to the guy with a limp, either. They massacred him brutally. Oh, here we go. Here, 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 here. We can maybe do something. But there's only three of them as well. Let's go. Our horse is flying, but it's okay. What's going on here, eh? Oh, they killed him. Oh, no, he's not dead. They're trying to fight him, right? Can I talk to anyone? That Tim, that's Timmy, right? Move up, get my way. We're gonna talk to him really quickly. Hey, Timmy. How are you <laughs> today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, yeah, don't mind the other guys. What do you want? It, it wasn't me. I, I didn't. I mean. Shit. I saw what you did at Neuhof. What are you talking about? You weren't there. Uh, I mean, I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubosch and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinek told me about a whole camp full of those horse hunts. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. Of course it you're not, Timmy. one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. <laughs> no, I think the other oh, three ready to kill you, Timmy, are the, the guys. Um, I mean, our speech is definitely going to do it, right? I mean, we do look quite noble as well, so maybe we could use our social standing. But I'm just going to do our speech. Like, obviously, we're going to be able to Why would I be trying to catch convince him. He's pretty dumb, so, For yeah. For Christ's sake, man. They crucified Limpy Lubosh and Ujits. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, 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 shit. What will I do? Shit. I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk. So I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. Not very helpful, there is it, Timmy? There were some houses there and all. In Keep the woods. Keep going. A, a church. There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Townberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutters camp. If you go further on past the woodcutters, you come across this abandoned house. We're going to have to save Timmy and fight these three dudes because like he's given us all this information. We promised his, promised his sister. Go to the left there and carry on till you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path. <laughs> For someone who doesn't know, go he's got a pretty good idea. There. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left until you come to a crossroads by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. <laughs> it's giving us this. Is he a sat now? 
And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. Better than nothing? But you won't tell nobody about Nightheart, gave you right? a step by step. You promise. Oh no, bugger. I meant to make you promise, but I forgot. Um, I mean, he has to confess, right? You know, he did do it, and... I mean, I don't know, I feel kind of feel bad. You took part in that massacre, Timmy. People got killed, and the farm was burned down. You can't expect to get away with it just like that. Come with me to Ratai. They'll know what to do with you there. No, no. I, I won't go anywhere with you. They'd hang me. What do you expect? That you can join yeah, I feel a bit bad now. Maybe I should have gone down this and route. Burning, and nothing will happen to you. Never! You might as well kill me here and now. God will punish you, yes. Well, the Lord sees you, so who am I to judge you? Your sins will come back to haunt you yet. Are you serious? Where are the other guys? Are the other guys still here? Where they went? Where did they go? What happened? Oh, this is Sir Rodzig's camp. I guess they fleed? Yeah, I guess they must have fleed. So let's go talk to Sir Rod Radzig now. We know pretty much where they are. They're up here somewhere. Um, and I guess we'll go out. And I'm hoping this is going to be the start of our, like, group combat. Because let me tell you, like, it is awesome. <whistles> Whistle for a horse. There she is. Not yet. Good old pebs. Did I tell you about my wife's late mate? Yeah, trust me. I, I really hope we get into the, the group combat this episode because it's awesome. I, I love that as well. We could have joined the bandits to find their camp. We're obviously going to Timmy. That's great. I mean, here they are. They're right here, my lord. Why don't we just catch them here and torture them? So Radzik's camp is literally here. <laughs> we could just capture them. Um, I mean, I'm going to go the more honourable way. Obviously, talk to Sir Radzik. Oh, this camp is awesome. Look at all the boys. I think all of these guys come with you as well, which is just even cooler. Um, so let's just pick up our horse here and find Sir Radzig, who I believe is at the war table. Is he asleep? No, where is he? Sir Radzig! Where are you, Sir Radzig? Have I missed you? I honestly have no idea where he is. It just tells him to go there. I might wash myself as well whilst we're here. Yeah, we'll get a nice little wash, clean our clothes a bit. Uh, maybe I just need to talk to a guard would be a, would suffice. Everyone seems to be sleeping. Why is everyone sleeping? I swear it's like daytime. Yeah, it's like midday and everyone's taking a nap. Hello, boys. Don't mind us, I guess. Halt, who goes there? Hey. Right, literally can't talk to anyone either. Where is he? He must be around here somewhere. I guess in the biggest camps he's probably at. Maybe I'm just going to wait an hour. I don't know why everyone is sleeping. We'll wait an hour. Maybe that'll wake them up. It's midday after all. A bit weird that they are all asleep. See, our nourishment is well is okay. Yeah, all our stats are fine. There he is. Hey, hey. watch, it. Hey, watch yourself. Folks these days. My lord, I've, I think I've found it. Troubles you. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Talmberg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, so you can see we failed the other one. Yeah, Certainly, of course. Sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. 
Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. Awesome, I'll man. What I can and this right is going to be crazy cool. Because, like, I imagine what we discover is literally going to affect it. So if we do a crappy job, I imagine, like, a lot more of our men will get slaughtered. That's so cool. So what do we have to do? Um, so just the townburg camp and then I guess obviously discover it northwards. Okay, we can do that. So let's go ahead and get on our horse and we'll fast travel up there. Um, I mean, going in bandit armor probably would have been a better idea as well, maybe. There's also a grindstone here. I don't actually know how to use one, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is way. There's one right there and I want to, I guess, use it to sharpen my weapon. I don't really know how to use it. I've never used one before. Wait, I swear one's here. Am I mistaken? I swear I saw one around here, at least definitely on the map. Am I blind? Oh, yeah, it's right here, sorry. So this is like a good way to uh, make your weapon stronger, I guess, and sharper. So how the hell do we use this? Oh, God. If you want to maintain your blade, you can save your repair kits and hone it yourself on the grindstone, which can find in every smithy, etc. Um, the blade must be held at the correct angle to the grindstone. If the angle is too shallow, the edge won't be sharpened. If it's too steep, you can dull the blade. Okay. You can keep the grindstone going with space and then use that to... Okay, I think I understand, right? So, obviously, I press space to pedal and that to change the angle. I don't know if I'm sharpening it or not. I mean, it looks like I'm sharpening it, right? Don't know if I'm damaging the blade, though. Or what? I don't know if I'm damaging the blade or not. Are we helping? That seems like it's way too much. Something like that, maybe? Yeah, I don't know if I'm helping or doing damage to my sword. Let's have a quick look. Oh yeah, we are we're actually helping it. We also, yeah, so we are actually doing some good stuff there. Good. I guess the sparks just mean it's fine. So we'll get back on. We'll get this back up to 100%. We need a bit more pressure on it. There we go. I wish there was some sort of, uh, like, stat that would be here, which would tell me more about, like, you know, how, what health our, our sword is at or, you know, anything like that. Like, it'd be really nice if they were like, yeah, your sword is now 100%. Uh, we leveled up as well. Oh, no, we did more damage to our sword there. I don't know, whatever. We have a repair kit maybe we could just use. Oh, we also have a lot of goblets as well. Is there, like, a town we can go through, I guess? Townburg is probably... Oh, there's a city right here. I mean, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel to Townburg really quickly, uh, then sell my stuff there, and then make my way up. I might also... Uh, I need to go grab my horse quick. Where are you at, Pebs? Um, yeah, let's go grab my horse. And then I'm, I'm going to sell my stuff at Townburg. We have a bunch of stuff. And I guess I'll go in lighter armor so I'm quieter. Uh, maybe pick up some just normal clothes. I'll be less armored, but I'll be better to be disguised. Um, so let's just go to Townburg. We'll fast travel over there. Might run into a few things, um, but it'll be fine. Our energy's at a pretty high level as well, so that's always good. And then we just need to find the trader at Townburg. I'm not actually sure where the trader is at Townburg, but I'm sure we'll do uh, a fine job at finding them. Uh, maybe try and buy you know, some, like, just softer clothes maybe would be a good idea. So where is the trader at Townburg? They, do they have a trader at Townburg? Surely. Oh yeah, they do inside the uh, castle. Right, I remember. Probably doesn't have a lot of money though, yeah. From what I remember, he doesn't really have a lot of cash. Let's just get off our horse, quickly find him. That's a robot. Awesome, how you doing, dude? We didn't actually see Sir Robot. I might go talk to him, see if he has anything to say. Have you got any more money? Because I remember you not really having a lot... Yeah, you have no cash whatsoever. Um, and there's nothing I want to buy, really. We have a lot to sell, like a lot of just other, like this goblet, 90 gold, some repair kits. Oh, I might actually repair. We also have 700 gold as well. I did see we got 200 gold from completing that crest, so Radzig paid me for everything Jesus I found out. Oh, just training. I don't really need to learn anything from you. I am a, I'm a natural-born sword fighter, my lord. So I guess we're going up like this. I might try and quickly apply that, um, that repair kit. That's oh, some small armor repair kit. Blacksmiths, can we do that? 
don't have enough skill to oh we don't have enough skill to repair either of these so I guess we have to level up our um yeah our skill oh our strength leveled up as well is there anything else tight grip nice what's this your stamina regenerates will not slow you down in combat even on weapon backswings so basically we just regenerate stamina a lot quicker um that seems okay i also wouldn't mind getting like mule one mule one seems pretty good or boar you can deplete an opponent's health and stamina by bumping into them at a sprint and uh, it's not bad but your he your armor is heavy i don't really want that too much mules kind of good and tight grip seems decent as well um the next ones are at level eight right um I'm gonna go with tight grip because carrying is not the end of the world. We can we can always stick stuff on our horse. Whereas being a better sword fighter, I think, and having better you know help in sword fighting is always nice. Um, agility leveled up as well as anything else. Don't think there was anything else I wanted. Yeah, no, not quite. Um, and then combat we leveled up in warfare. Awesome. So what do we have? Rusty edge. The more damage your sword, the greater the chance of poisoning your opponent when hitting them. Poison, that's good. So we can actually do that. And blood letter. You have a greater chance of drawing blood on your opponent. Both pretty good. I think I'm going to go for the blood one. Because that kind of seems like just a general whenever I hit them, there's a better chance of drawing blood. So let's get blood letter on warfare. Seems like a good enough one. Uh, was there anything else here? Not quite. And then skills are drinking leveled up. Yeah, we still didn't decide whether we want to have more beer or whatever. So I guess, I guess we're going to make our way out, right? And we're going to... Anything else I want before doing this? As I said, lighter armor wouldn't be the end of the world, but screw it. We're just going to go for it and try and find out as much information as we can. Because as Sir Radzig said, the, you know, it really does depend on us whether or not you know this is a success or not. So it is northwards. We're going to try and be as stealthy as possible. I might even take off some of my armor as well. To maybe make me go a little bit faster and not be as loud. And we're probably going to have to leave our horse at some point along this road. Yeah, I might take off my armor and put it on my horse, maybe, would be a good plan. And we're going to have to go super, like, stealth mode. So, yeah, here's the woodcutters. And he said, past the woodcutters. God, I can't wait for the massive group combat. Okay, here we go. I think I'm going to go on foot now. Oh, wait, wait, where's the quest? Is it not loaded on the map yet? That probably hasn't loaded on the map, right? Go to the fork with the ruined cabins. Yeah, we can do that. So I assume it's just north of us. Oh, we're here. And then we'll stay left. Yeah, we'll stay left, right? Go straight ahead. The next fork we're clearing with a big tree. Oh, this is kind of nice. We're following his instructions. That was, that was so awkward as well. We literally like snitched on Timmy. I feel like we had to like snitch on Timmy though to get out of that. We probably could have. If we would have picked the other one which boosts our speech in like everything which isn't a city. I think we would have uh, maybe been able to do that. Because that would have boosted up our speech by one. Which would have been, would have been really useful. Wait did we go the wrong way? It said take a left and I carry on going straight forward. I think we need to go back, if I'm honest. I think we go back. Because it said take a left at the fork, and I was reading the previous one, um, honestly. Yeah, I think we need to take this left. Right? Or is there not a left? Yeah, this left right here. Yeah, I think we're supposed to take this left. Because I was reading the completed objective of the previous one. Maybe we should wait until night time as well. Maybe when we get there, we'll wait until night time. Because it's already like 2 o'clock, I think. So it's not going to be ages to wait. I hope this is the right way. <laughs> if not, we're going to have to go all the way back again. I mean, is we gone? maybe I was going the right way. Here we go. Take a left and continue on the path. Fork next. And then what do you say? Stay left. Take a left and carry on. Yeah, so just carry on. So nice. We, we were going the right way. Good. We need to be careful as well because obviously these are going to be covered with bandits here as well.
think you're just a wayfarer, are you not? And it's safe as housing. Of course. Where to next? Carry on straight up across the roads. You're not a bit of profit, All the way to the camp. Okay, so I might actually leave my horse back here now. God, we're discovering loads more of a map now. It's awesome. So they're camped like around here, I guess. Okay, we're going to go a little bit further forward and then probably ditch our horse. And then go on foot because I think going on foot will be a much, uh, much smarter idea because obviously it's a lot, not as quiet or not as loud, I should say. Okay, so we should be coming up to the camp very soon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's literally just ahead of us. Oh, we can actually see the camp right there. Wow. I'm probably going to ditch my horse just up ahead, maybe wait until night time, and then just push forward and see what we can do. Because obviously, sabotage, he said, was a real good idea. So maybe trying to take out one of the bandits and dressing up in their clothes wouldn't be a bad idea either. So we're going to go full-on stealth in a second. So we just need to go up ahead. Nice, so we found the bandit camp. And what are our objectives now, right? Just sabotage, so what? So what are our actual objectives now? So we found bandit camp in the nest of vipers. Uh, go and scout out the bandit camp, we can do that. Sabotage the bandits before the battle begins. And we can poison their food and burn their arrows. Great, so we can do that. So what, do we, we just walk up Moment. here? Oh. It would take a while to get across. Oh, There's I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Dude, chill, 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 chill. Chill, I'm just a wayfarer. Nothing personal whatsoever. Are you still chasing me? So, look around the camp and see what could be useful information. Okay, we can definitely do that. So, so I'm just making sure I'm away from him so he doesn't just charge me. Um, so, the camp itself. There's a bridge here. There's a bridge down here. We're up here right now. So, I guess we'll make our way. We'll circumnavigate our way around the... Yeah, around the camp itself. And then... Wait until night time and then try and sneak in and poison some stuff. I guess that's the best plan. Oh, the horse is right there as well. Hilarious. I guess that's our best plan. So let's go back down. We'll try and move round the camp, I think. Because by the sounds of it, all I have to do is walk into stuff and it'll discover them, right? If I'm not mistaken. And then, yeah, then we'll use the cover of darkness, I guess, to sneak around the camp. That's really cool though how there's options. I imagine like if we do poison them or if we do... Is this something or not? I guess it's just a way in. I guess if we do poison them, there's a bridge there. If we do poison them or if we do set that arrows ablaze, that's going to affect the siege. Because um, they don't just stick stuff in that in this game without it really affecting anything. So I imagine we'll like get bonuses maybe people won't like won't, not as many people will die if we find the most optimal way to do things but i mean we're just going to do this first try anyway that'll make it easier to cross the earthworks there's open ground on both sides of it but it's the fastest route for an attack that's good i guess i mean you're not going to attack me so what there's like two guards there and you can see some more stuff back there so what do we want to where do we want to go now i guess just continue round yeah there's more paths coming out of the woods up here so Nice. So this is like the quickest way to attack. I wonder if we're going to get asked what way we think we should attack. Oh, I don't like that pressure. I don't. That's way too much pressure for me, if I'm honest. Way too much pressure. Yeah, because it's like, it must like, because we're having to explore this. I Because he said you can do as little as you want. Just go and scout them out. So I imagine if I like, if I make sure I discover everything, a lot less people will die. And I wonder if like, there's a chance that one of the main characters will die as well. I, I really do wonder that. Um, we might be able to like speak our way in as well, if I'm honest, as well. We could launch a sneak attack from here. Oh, nice. It doesn't look like it's being watched too much. Yeah, it's... there's a guard up there, though. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if we can make our way into the camp if we dress up as one of them. Maybe we'll have to try and take someone out at night time. And then dress up in their armor and then make our way into the camp. That's definitely a good approach, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try that, I think. So we'll scout round the... We'll we circum get all the way to the camp unobserved this way. Our attack would catch them by surprise. But then we'd run straight into the middle of the Cumans. The Cumans? Are they joined up with the bat? I mean, I guess so. I mean, to, to, to think about that, actually, they did speak Hungarian to me just a second ago when I was walking towards the bridge. Um, so yeah, I guess the Cumans and bandits are one in the same. They join forces or something. But yeah, I desperately do need to get myself uh, some armor, I think. Because, yeah, I wonder if that's going to work. 
I don't know. I don't want to just dress up in some, like, take someone out, dress up in their armor and walk around and then it not work and I get chased and killed down anyway. God. This game, man, has so many possibilities. Because, again, think about it. We could be in the camp right now. We wouldn't have to do any of this if we just went and killed Timmy. But because we were nice and we kept Timmy alive, we're going to suffer now. Also, we can go back to Sir Radzik now, but as I say, I want to stick around. So Radzik did say we had to do like a bare minimum, which I imagine is this. But I want to explore more of the camp if I can. But I really want to get in and try and explore as much as I can. Can I like, jump over these walls at all? Surely this would be like the best place to attack. I like, just jump over these walls and... Oh, what's this? Is like another camp out in the open? Oh, okay. It's like blockaded, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's blockaded. Okay. Let's continue to make our way around. Keep our eyes peeled because we could run into a bunch more stuff. <gasps> oh, there's a door it's here. Decayed. A handful of men could hold it for quite a while. I literally just ran into this completely by accident, man. I was just following the thing along. I could have easily have missed this as well. Oh, that's awesome. The fact that I could have missed this and just never known about this way in. Poison. Oh, we can use this to poison the food. And he did actually say, um, yeah, Henry said that. If we use one of the paths, we'll run straight into the cumans. But if I poison the cumans, that's going to make life a lot, lot easier. There's also a lockpick chest here, which I guess we'll do. Maybe there's more poison in here. Hopefully no one sees me. Nice. Unlocked. Perfect. Don't think anyone's seen me. That's fine. Oh, there's armor. Oh, nice. We don't even have to take someone out. Perfect. Yeah, take all. We are heavily over encumbered. We're not even heavily over encumbered, but we are over encumbered right now. Oh, that's so cool. So I guess we can dress up as one of them. Great. We want to go call our horse here, though, if we can. Because um, calling our horse, we can put this stuff on the horse as well. And this will be a good place to get away if we need to. Perfect. Our horse is here. That's great. Um, so let's go ahead and stick some stuff. So let's dress up, I guess. Uh, so we'll push all this other stuff we don't need. Uh onto our horse oh uh, yeah we also leveled up as well i totally forgot about this that's why we did this i mean i guess not um i think it was blood letter yeah they have a better chance of bleeding um and then our strength ability was the tighter grip yeah, tighter grip and then skills we weren't doing anything and agility oh yeah agility there was nothing special i wanted yeah nothing special i wanted so yeah let's go back and go arm i swear i did that i mean i guess not I must have just like clicked it, but not clicked confirm or something. Um, so yeah, send all of this stuff to our horse. We're going to wear this, this, everything cumin related we want to wear. Uh, yeah, it's not cumin. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. No, sorry. Give me my armor back, please. I need back human armor. I need back, yeah, I need this. And then stick that back. So we look like a human, right? Yeah, we have our, we, our face is hidden as well. So we should be okay. Weapon wise, though, we don't have a special weapon or anything. I wonder if that's going to make any difference. Oh, well, I guess we'll leave our horse here. So now here's the question. Do we go in during daytime? I guess we do. Okay, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to go back around that hidden path. Because I just don't want to get discovered now. We, we look like a human, so I assume we'll be able to walk in. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back around that, like, back around that lightly armoured uh, way, I think. And just try and explore. I guess because we're in the armour, we don't have to wait till cover of darkness. But we might wait until cover of darkness to, um, to set fire and poison the food and stuff. I think that's going to be a good plan. So we'll poison the food once we've... Uh, yeah, once we've gone ahead and, like, just scout the area in daytime. So we'll scout the area actually inside the camp, because I imagine we'll want some information in daytime of the camp. And then once we've done that, we'll poison the food, set fire to the arrows, and then just get the hell out of here. Like, I imagine we'll just literally sprint through the camp, setting fire, and just legging it to our horse. And this is the path. If this isn't the path I want, but I want the next path along, right? Because I imagine this path is going to be heavily guarded as well. Again, we should be able to walk in. We are the human. Hmm. 
Nice, our vitality went up, but we don't actually have any more. So there is a guard right here. Is he just going to let me in? I guess so? Because he's going he's gonna to chase me off if not. Oh, he looks like he's got some cool armor on. Yeah, he's cool. Where's a human guard there, though? Is he going to, like, talk to me in Hungarian or anything? Nice, so we can just walk in without having to worry. Great. Well, I'm going to use this path because I believe this path is less defended. And I, I, think, I think the bandits will leave me alone, but the humans might try and talk to me or something. I don't know. So we want to try and avoid the humans as much as we can, I think. Because obviously, bandits... Fight, not much cover. The bandits, obviously, um, just think I speak Hungarian and they don't speak Hungarian. Whereas the humans might try and talk to me. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to discover up here if I can. We'll just walk as well. Fucking humans drive me crazy. Oh, mind me. I mean, I'm a human, but I don't speak your language, so it's fine. Stop gaping at me and oh, God, no. Do we get... Hopefully this is meant to happen. <laughs> Wait, do we get captured? Is that us? Oh, no. For, for a second, I thought that was us then. Thank God. Do you have anything to say? I didn't do nothing wrong. Let me go. Nem csináltam semmit. Engedjetek el. Ez hazugság! Az egész az ő hibája volt. I heard you had some trouble with our human brothers. I hope this guy doesn't see me. Because he's obviously seen my face before. He start fight. His friend killed two men. This is even dog said. Don't listen to what that's <sighs> For the last time, Sigismund's mercenaries are guests in our camp. And we treat guests as our own. Mi itt vendégek vagyunk, ezért tisztelettel kell, hogy bánjanak velünk. Igen, ennek így kell lennie. How do you want to punish him? Milyen büntetést tartogat számára? Engedd szabadon, a többiek emlékezni fognak rá. Let him go, others will remember it. You let these dogs tell you what to do. And you call yourself a leader. You just got off. You just got let released. Now he's obviously going to kill you. <clears throat> yeah, what did you think was going to happen, dude? I'm hoping, I'm hoping no one's going to see me now because I'm obviously around here. No more unnecessary fighting. We are one camp. One army. So fucking remember that. Maybe we could cause some discontent though in the ranks. Honestly. What? <laughs> we haven't got our helmet on. What the hell? We should have our helmet on. Come on, dude. Okay, let's just continue looking then, I guess. Oh, nice. No, so we've done that. We've scouted out the bandit camp. Perfect. But I swear it wasn't What's on our... Shit I wouldn't what want to live here. What are you looking at, no, Nothing, my lord. Um, I swear that wasn't our objective, though. So I guess there are hidden objectives here in the camp that we can do, right? I, I mean, I guess. We still have the same option to burn arrows and stuff. And we only have one bit of poison as well. Right? I mean, there's no more poison around. If there is poison around, that'd be nice. There's also like a chest here and stuff. Sorry, I'm just going to try and scout around. Is this like a private area? It's not. And there's a chest there, but I don't think we have any more lockpicks. Like anything hidden back here? We can maybe knock someone out as well back here. Maybe take their bandit. <gasps> More poison. Perfect. I almost didn't see that. But I saw the skull. So we have two bits of poison. I guess we'll poison one thing here and one at the humans would be good. Is there anything here we can like discover? Like the overlook or something, because there's some pretty nice defenses here. There's not like food we can take out either. God, this is I'm I'm literally so nervous walking, like so anxious walking around this place. Is there any like food supplies I can poison? I just hope that walking around like this isn't going like running around isn't going to mess me up at all. There's not like food supplies, right? We could sleep until night time, which I think we're going to end up doing. Can we poison like the ale or something? 
No, I assume we just have to drop it in because you can drop food in. There's a chest there as well. So we can set fire to the arrows. There's lots of arrow things though. This is like the supplies. Yeah, I can open the food here. Okay, I'm going to wait until the cover of darkness to continue, I think. Because I... I'm... Yeah, sorry, my lords. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to, like, hide somewhere. And just wait. I guess I, guess I could even sleep here as well, but... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go back here, wait until darkness arises. Go back to that thing that just said open, because maybe I can poison their entire food and apply it, because... I can't open any of these, right? This would be like the ale would be the perfect thing to poison. No, and you're sleeping there, which is fine. So I'm just going to go up here and then just wait until night time. And then make my way down here. I guess I don't want to set fire to all the arrows because it's going to make it like so obvious that I'm here. I want to poison first and then just set fire to as many arrows as I can whilst I'm running through the camp like a madman. Um, and then trying to escape, I guess. So let's, let's wait here. We're just on watch. Uh, wait until like 9 o'clock. It should be dark by then. I'm hoping no one's going to like talk to me here. Because I'm, I'm a little bit out of the, the way. So I'm hoping I'm, I'm far enough away that no one's going to chat to me. God, this is so nerve-wracking. Okay, are people asleep yet? No, it still looks like people are awake. So I guess let's wait till like... Let's wait until 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock should be plenty of time. I kind of feel like I should auto save here as well. Because oh, this is like a decent way in. Oh, it's pouring down as well. Perfect. This is this should hopefully keep me silent as well somewhat. I hope no one's going to get annoyed if I just come over like this. We have two bits of poison. No one's like in their beds though. No, no one's in their beds. Then they're going to bed now, which is fine with me. So there's like there's like a food supply here by the looks of it, but I'm not sure if I drop my poison there, if they're gonna get annoyed at me. I'm just gonna sit here and hope that they don't kick me out or anything. Go to bed, my friend. Yeah, I think they all they all are just going to bed now, which is perfect for me. So I know I'm taking this this campaign like really slow or this like part really slow. You're just going to sleep, so no one's around. This is food, so can I just drop poison in there? Where is my poison? I have two, right? Just one. Is that gonna class it? No, I don't think it did. So let's take our poison back. Okay, so I think we have to drop it in the food, right? Yeah, I have to probably drop it in something like this. That guard's going away. There are some more guards coming. Okay, we're just going to sit here for now. Um, wait until everyone's gone away. And then we will drop poison in this pot. And then, I guess, make it down to the cumin camp. Yeah, dropping poison. Oh, there's, a guard. there's guards everywhere, though. My god, this is, uh, this is not easy. That guy's turning around, so hopefully we don't wake him up. Okay, we'll wait for this guy to go. I mean, he's looking, like, right at me. Oh, no, he's facing the other way. I guess we'll just give it a go. I'm actually going to eat from the pot first. Before I poison it. There's so many guards everywhere. I guess... Oh, okay, no, I've got a better idea. I feel like if they if they see me do this, they're going to get pissed. Like, if anyone sees me just dropping poison into the pot, they're going to be angry at me. However, if I put it on some food and then put the food in there, maybe that... I mean, maybe I'm just thinking way too much into this. So maybe if I... I'm, I'm going to go off somewhere again. If someone sees me applying poison, I don't want them to get angry at me or anything. We're just going to go through here um, and apply poison. I, I'm, I'm probably thinking way too much into this, but I just don't want to have this messed up. Um, I guess on a bit of bread. So this is poison bread. 
So now if I just drop bread into this pot, it should be okay. You're going to bed as well, are you? Good. good. Wait. God, I'm so fucking nervous right now. So now if I just drop the poisoned bread in here, can I not? Oh, I can't. That's so annoying. So I just wasted an entire poison. That's really annoying. Um, I think I'd rather poison the humans, so I'm going to go over there. Because, as they said, um, like one of the parcels, like if you do this, you'll run into the humans. That's so annoying. I can't believe I messed up. That's really frustrating. Because I could have poisoned probably both of them and things could have gone a lot better. That's actually really annoying. But I guess, you know, you live and you learn. I just assumed I'd be able to drop, you know, bread. I guess bread isn't exactly really a great thing. Um, hello, my human brothers. Don't Look mind me. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. I guess we'll just find a pot which doesn't have as many soldiers around. Like here. There's a guard right there. Don't mind me, my friend. Just going back to where I found the armor in the first place. He's coming right for me as well. He hasn't got his weapon drawn or anything. Maybe we can just silence him when he comes. You're gonna... Hello? Don't enjoy your sword, please. Come into the darkness. Remember, maybe when you try and run away, I can take you out. Oh, God, what's going on? He's speaking Hungarian to me. I should have just run, maybe. But running would have made it so obvious. Oh, God. Try speak Hungarian, act natural, ignore him, growl. Fuck it, we're going to growl at him. Nice! Oh my god, that's so stressful. And now, I'm, when he turns around, I'm going to try and knock him out. What? Why are you talking to me again? I just spoke to you. Oh, we can't growl at him anymore. Um, I guess ignore him. That's so annoying. So, by looks of it, we can only use these once. Hopefully we're, we're covered. Because this just means there's one less guard roaming around, right? And we can go stick him in the darkness here. Just means there's one less guard here. And he's in pitch black as well. No one's going to be able to see him there. Yeah, one less guard. I think that's good. But I can't believe we used up two of our things. Anything else here? Take your money, my dear. We have so much cash. I wouldn't mind taking some of this stuff and just sticking it. Or lockpicks as well. Yes, take the lockpicks and just sticking this on our horse again. Anything over 300, I think we definitely take and stick on our horse. Even the human bow's not bad. Because all of this stuff we can sell. We're obviously going to be over encumbered now, but we should now just be able to put this on our horse. I and mean, then I guess we're just going to go for it, drop the poison in, burn as many arrows as we can, and then just run as fast as we physically uh, can. I'm so annoyed about that. We could have poisoned both of them, I think. Um, that's really frustrating. So, yeah, you go there. You go there. Um, so, all our weapons. Yeah, you go there. As long as we're just not over-encumbered, that's fine. I mean, armor-wise, it's that, right? Yeah, perfect. So, that just means there's one less guard walking around skulking and stuff. Yeah, you piss off, mate. I want to poison this pot if I can. Perfect. I'm so pissed about that. It's my own recipe. <laughs> Great. Oh, sabotage. Oh, no, she's completed that. That's good. I guess to set fire to the arrows. The fewer arrows you have, the better for us. I guess we'll just go around setting fire to the arrows wherever we can. Oh no, I don't know what happened there. The fewer arrows you have, the better for us. <gasps> oh, what happened? Oh god, we've been discovered. Okay, we're going. We're legging it. Hopefully, we're going to be fast enough now. I imagine they've just discovered us now. Oh, we just fucked our legs there. That's not good. We ran into the moat. I didn't think we'd get messed up that badly. Hopefully it's harder for them to find us though in the moat. There's the tree here as well. 
Let us up, let us up. Okay, let's just go. Come on, let us up. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. We poisoned the food, we set fire to some arrows. We didn't set fire to all the arrows, but we set fire to some. I think that's going to be good enough. Come on, horsey, where you at? Come on, Pebbles, let's just ride. Yeah, I can see you there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think I set fire to two of the arrows. I uh, poisoned the food. Unfortunately, didn't poison both of them. It would have been so easy to poison both of them as well. Like, we could have been fighting hardly anyone. And the Cumans shouldn't have many arrows left now as well. Oh, we could have done that so much better. I'm annoyed at myself for not realizing that. Now we just have some poison bread. But it's not the end of the world, right? Like, we we managed to do it. We managed to get in. We did do some infiltration. Again, we didn't... We didn't die. I kind of feel like I should go back. But there's not going to be any more poison. And they've, they've seen me now, right? And maybe I'll try and go back in one more time. I wonder if I'll have poison at Townburg or anything as well. Hmm. I'm going to go to Townburg now. And see... Yeah, I'm going to fast travel to Townburg. We'll probably get attacked by some people. I'm going to fast travel to Townburg. See if their trader um, has any poison. And if they do, we'll go back. And we'll try and make our way in. God, people are going to be pissed at me because I'm dressed like a goddamn cumin. I need a bed for a night here. And as well. Probably should take off our cumin armor. They'll probably attack me on sight. Yeah, let's take off this cumin armor really quickly. But it doesn't matter what we look like as long as we're not cumin. That's fine. So annoyed about that. Is there going to be a bed for me? There will be, right? My lords. This is, uh, let's try and see if we can go to our other bed. We do also need to get our, our wounds looked at. Um, so let's just get off here. See if we can make our way into this room without being kicked out again. This is where we did sleep last time. Nice. Let's just sleep here um, until the day. See if there's any poison anywhere in any of the, the, the major cities. Because, as I said, I really want to poison the bandits. And it's, it's frustrating because I think poisoning them both will just be uh, a great little bonus. Um, so let's just wait until, like, till the guy must be up, like, here. And then we'll, tr I guess, try enter back in the bandit camp dressed as a cumin. I'm not sure if it's going to work now, though. Because they obviously discovered me. Um, and I guess we just get a horse. We set fire to everything and then just run back to Sir Radzig. So all I'm looking for now is some poison. I want to see if this trader has any. I mean, I doubt he will. And I guess if I can't find any poison here, um, I will just go back to Sir Radzig and, and call it a day. Um, they might actually have some poison maybe in the... in The cook might actually have some poison. Because obviously to kill the, the rats and stuff. No, I guess not. I mean, I guess poison it wouldn't look too good. Be a bit more careful. Sorry, my lady. Yeah, no poison here, unfortunately. Uh, let's go to the trader, man. I, I mean, I, again, I doubt he will have poison because the Miller probably has some poison because he he's like kind of like the rogue esque missions, but maybe the Miller will have some poison. Okay, let's just see if this trader does have any. God be with you. God be with you, my lord. Can we trade? If you've got. Poison. Spirits, no you don't. That's annoying. I would have loved for you to have some poison so we could go back. There's bread now. I, just, I For a second, like I thought I could just pour it in the bread. I'm, I'm really... Uh, you can tell I'm actually annoyed at myself. He also doesn't have any money to sell my stuff at. Um, okay, cool. Well, we can try at Urtzis. We do actually need to go to um, the place up here. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to buy the thing for Stephanie. Some Lady Stephanie. We have a side mission for her. And then we're going to maybe try and go back because, as I said, I really want to poison them. So I'm going to quickly fast travel here and then probably end the episode. And then next episode, we are going to um, go back and poison them. Then we're going to go to Sir Radzig and then start this assault. Or oh, attack on the road. Uh, sure, let's just fight. I love how I died here after all of that. Yeah, you're just normal peasants. What do you want to do? Like, Actually, I've got no armor on, so I need to be careful. I actually do need to be careful. He's already dead. 
I'm gonna let you flee, but you're gonna pay me. You're free. Leave your weapon and go. Yeah, get I out agree. of here. And your other friend's already dead. There's only a bludgeon anyway. <laughs> Mercy kill, I guess. Okay guys, so unfortunately I couldn't find any poison. I looked in like three or four different villages. Unfortunately it wasn't the case. However, it doesn't really matter. I feel like we've done enough. You know, we infiltrated, we found some good ways into the castle and found out about it. So we're going to be back at Sir Radzig's camp and I guess we'll prepare next episode for the siege itself. The battle, big battle I'm hoping uh, next episode. So make sure to drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time and fish out.